Like the Toronto Hydro, involved. TCH, so that's yeah, what you so mean? Yeah, so you have, you have Toronto, you have TCH, you have, um, you know, shelter housing support, um, and and the, you have the deputy city manager and the people that run the EOC office, um, uh, and, and they, 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 co they collect important information from, from the field, uh, and they feed it back into the EOC. They, they, they so important issues are raised that are that, that come up from the field and then uh, uh, information is shared with them uh, so for example let's say uh, there's a problem in the EOC at, at the warming centers in terms of food or volunteers that's brought up and it's dealt with if there's a hydro issue or, uh, that, EO, that the warming centers have to know about that's communicated down so, the, so that's how it works they meet on a regular basis um, so throughout the day throughout the day that's correct and, and does it flow up to the political level for decisions, or are decisions on this being made at the EOC? Um, well, operationally, the, you know, the the the, the, um, uh, the decisions, you know, important issues are raised uh, uh, in the briefings that the mayor has, and, and, and with the mayor. Um, operationally speaking, uh, the EOC is run by uh, an individual. And the deputy city, the deputy city, city manager in the EOC, are the main uh, decision makers and coordinators uh, in this arrangement. But there are issues that get brought up to the region. The mayor sort of has to personally decide on, or is it just that he's informed? Is that what's your understanding? Well, you're gonna have to talk to the mayor about that. I don't, I, I, I can't speak to all the conversations, uh, so I'll, I'll pass on that one. Fair enough. Um, and the the briefings but, that. But we also raise uh, important issues ourselves. That, you know, we, we so so. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I've raised issues about the warming centers and volunteers and food. Um, I've also r raised issues with regard to the cleanup and and is it properly coordinated? Do they have a plan? How long is it going to take? What are we doing with garbage? I mean, all those things. Uh, we have to. You know, our job as elected officials is is to um, not interfere, but make positive contributions of things that we think that need to be. Uh, communicated and, and and you don't want too many politicians calling up the EOC. That's that's um, not uh, 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 that's not an efficient way to function in an emergency. The picture you tweeted yesterday of the briefing was that the EOC briefing or was that a political? Well, what, what what's that? What no, was that brief? Mayor, that's the mayor's brief. That's the mayor's. Is that and is that once a day with all the various agency heads? Yes. Or once a day. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So uh, it's over, the main office is on on Don Mills Road. There was a power outage at the beginning. We moved over to Metro Hall. Uh, and you know, that is just a boardroom with, with, with um, you know, on with laptops set up all around. Everyone has their laptop and with with, with phones set up all around. Uh -huh. And then distributed throughout the floor are people at workstations uh, doing their, doing doing their work. Uh, the mayor okay. said he doesn't, in his view, think that uh, there's really. Who are you? Oh, I'm Will Campbell, the Canadian Press. Okay, great. The mayor said he doesn't think there's any lessons learned at this point in responding to the storm. Do you agree with that? Um, no. Well, I won't say. I, I think that there are a lot of important lessons that we can learn and, and apply, um, and, and and examine. You know, what could we do better? Um, so, example. So, for example, um, there's we had insufficient surge capacity in terms of dealing with calls. That would be hydro calls, uh, 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 calls to three one one, etc. Uh, police calls, fire calls. So the question is, is 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 that an arrangement? That we can do something about, or is that something that, in this type of crisis, um, you're just gonna you're, you're just gonna have to manage? Um, one of the interesting things that 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 um, uh, that uh, you know appeared that I, I, is is uh, at, at one point in time at our warming centers, um, our Red Cross volunteers were burning out, and there were people that want they wanted to volunteer. But you can't volunteer unless you get a police clearance. Mm. Okay. Now, back in you know 50, 50 or 20 years ago, that wouldn't have been an issue. It's an issue today. And at what point in time? And is it? A, I think it's a useful discussion to say, is that in, in this type of an emergency, are there are there times to make exceptions? Food. You can't have anything but prepackaged food. Okay. 
that's probably not a protocol that you would apply in the country. But in an urban center, it's a different arrangement. Those are three examples that I would say, uh, and uh, in terms of surge capacity in 311, you know, is there capacity to outsource that to another 311 center, another larger city that would have a protocol to deal with that? Right? Our, um, our website went down and we had a power failure uh, on Dodman's Road. So that's what, that's a, you know, the electricity's out, but, you know, people can still get onto the internet. Um, is that a is that an arrangement that you need to look at so that the website doesn't go down? I've given you five examples, material examples of things where I th where we might be able to be better, and, and, and so I think there you know there uh, you know I think there's potential rooms room for improvement. Is the council going to study this? Um, I you know I'm not going to predict what the council is going to do or not do, but I think that there there are really there are some. Um, important thing there are important issues that have come up through this crisis that I've never experienced before um, it didn't happen in the storm it didn't happen in the big blackout in 2005 uh, the magnitude of this is unprecedented for city officials and there there are things that we can learn. is there an automatic mechanism will there be some sort of even on in terms of the bureaucracy reviewing I, I'm I'm inter you know I am interested in in in, in uh, doing in, in, in examining uh, what did we do right? What did we do wrong? And what, what can we do better? Thank you. Thanks.